what are the disadvantages of a tiny house? Some of the disadvantages of a tiny house have to do with their weight. Because they're a lot heavier, you tend to need like a bigger vehicle. Like for example, most of our tiny homes, we like to tow like the 18 footers or even the 24 footers with like a, at least a three quarter ton. But the bigger ones, like uh, sometimes even the 24 footers or 30 footers, you, you definitely want like a one ton truck. Um, you're not going to be able to just use like your Ford F-150 or something. You're probably going to need something a little bigger for most, most tiny homes. Yeah. But with weight value also comes quality because the reason there's that extra weight is because we're not using paper thin materials to build walls and stuff like that. So as, as portable as they are, they're not going to be quite as portable as an RV either. Think of them as more uh, like semi portable. Um, you're probably not going to want to be driving them around every single day, but they're easy enough to move that you can move them from one location to another as much as you need. And I would say a big disadvantage of a tiny home, if you're living in it and you have multiple children, I think space and availability of where the kids are going to actually play would be a downfall for me personally to live in a tiny home because we do have four kids um, and they're all under 10. So they play a lot. So they would literally have to be outside all the time. And that sometimes that's not possible if it's raining or, or winter time and stuff like that. So that could be a downside to a tiny home if you have lots of children. Another disadvantage to tiny homes is the lack of places to put them. So there are becoming more and more places to put them as they've become grown in popularity. But um, you are still going to have a, you kind of have to plan it out when if you want a tiny home of where you're going to put it and make sure um, you can you know, put it there. If it's built by an RV manufacturer like ourselves, you can put it anywhere RVs are allowed. Yeah. If it's just built by someone in their backyard, then you're kind of a little bit more limited to where you can put them. Yeah, and cities can actually ask you to remove it from the city because of safety standards. 